In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this cartoony face. In the last video, I kind of left you guys hanging because I showed you how to make the character, but not the face. Here it is, me making it up to you guys. Now, all you need to follow along is Photoshop. That is what I am going to use. It is also what I recommend. However, you can also use Photopea, which can be used in your browser completely free. All right, make sure you check out our store. Lots of helpful resources and without further ado let's get straight into this video all right so here we are i have my photoshop open the first step for us is to go up here in the top left hit file new to create a new document uh, you can use any file size you like i'm going to stick with a square aspect ratio i'm going to use a thousand by a thousand uh resolution uh i'm going to use 300 and now I'm just gonna hit create so here we are in our new document um, I want you guys to enable your rulers so you can hit control R that is the keyboard shortcut and this will just help us create guides if we need to uh, use these guidelines all right so here is the face that we are going to uh, create now obviously this image is low quality but it's not going to look like that after we complete. Let's see what parts uh, that we have here to make. We have the eyebrows, we have the eyes and the mouth because well, the eyes and eyebrows are just going to duplicate and flip over to the other side. So I think we should start off with the eyes. That is the main part of this. So let's hit new layer right here to begin. I'm just going to take my ellipsal, so head over to your shapes, click and hold and go to ellipsal. Now up here you want to make sure it is on shape. Uh, this will basically create our shape as soon as we draw it out. You want your fill to be enabled, so uh, just click a color, I'm just going to use black. Your stroke should be off, so you want to click this first option here. And now to start, I'm gonna go right into the center of the eye. Like I said, we can use uh, these guidelines to help us. Just go right in the center. You wanna hold Shift and Alt, and this will and this will maintain the shape like so. And that looks pretty good. Also, don't forget to save the files. So go to File and Save As. Right here, uh, we're focusing on the inner part of the eye, the color part. So let's set our base color. Double click on this area, this little icon in the layers panel of our new shape. This will open up the color picker. Um, I think I'm gonna go for this as the base color right here. I'm going to hit Control H, H for horse to hide our guidelines so I can see everything uh, clearly. And now if you notice there is a slight gradient and to make this it's quite simple we're going to make a new layer once more we're gonna hit right click and uh, hit create mask. Now let's take our brush tool all right I'm going to select let me enlarge this right here anyways I'm going to uh, select the soft round brush Let's drop the opacity down and the flow as well. Uh, let's increase the size. Make sure your hardness is on zero. Change your color to white and on this layer that is clipped into the, the shape right here. We're just going to paint just right across. And now you can also change your color to black. You can paint on top. Now, as you can see, this uh, for us creates nice, a nice small gradient. I'm gonna go right here and change the mode to soft light. Lower the opacity, 35. I'm gonna right click and hit duplicate. Layer right here, hit OK. And change this back to normal. Increase the opacity to 45. Now I'm just going to uh, direct this down, just like so. Uh, this could be overlay, 
this could be this could be overlay actually all right now this is the main part complete let's go for a new layer again take your ellipse tool we're going to create the the pupil right here drag this down and for the highlights uh, they're quite simple they're just ellipses that are white in color obviously this goes right here you can just copy duplicate this and position this right here you can also kind of distort the shape a tiny bit like so um this might not be completely dark it's kind of it's more of a dark blue i guess that looks a bit better and now for this right here we're just going to create a new layer right click and hit create mask make sure it clips into the ellipse we take our pen tool this time here are the options uh shape fill on stroke is off i'm just going to take this shape just kind of go around take this and drag this into our shape double click and change the color as you can see now we could just copy this make sure it is clipped once again double click and boom now hit ctrl t we're going to hold alt and resize this shape just like so oops uh, make sure it fits like that just gotta get this right uh, there's also this small little extra highlight. I'm just going to copy this right here and change the color. Just like so. I will add some additional shading using the method I explained earlier. So I'm just going to paint around this part. Make the bottom kind of bright and I'm going to go overlay. Just like so. And as you can see, that is the main eyeball for us uh, complete. Now let's create the eyebrows. Uh, first, let's group all this up actually. So I'm going to hold shift and make sure all these layers are selected. Uh, I'm going to hit control G to make a group. This will be an eye. Or actually this eyeball, I guess. Uh, make a new layer. We're going to use our pencil and just click right here. We could find, uh, let's go right here for the next point. And you want to drag this, make sure it follows the curvature. All right. And now I'm going to hold Alt and click right here. This will reset our curvature to make a new one. And just uh, repeat. Alright, so here is our shape. Um, let's change the color. Make a new layer, right click and hit create mask. Take our brush tool. Once again, let's do some shading like so. Now, if you can see, the eyebrows have some additional effects. So to add this, right click on the shape and hit blending options up here. Let's hit inner shadow, opacity up, change the color to, to white, blend mode overlay, increase the choke, and decrease the size. Now lower the opacity. And here, and here you can see we have a similar effect. Oops, uh, you're also you're also gonna want to add the stroke with the color black right here and a drop shadow as well just copy the settings that you see on my screen like so looks pretty good hold control select both of these right click and hit convert to smart object now you're going to name this uh, your eyebrow 
make sure these elements are aligned. Now, create a layer under, and we're going to make the, uh, the surrounding area, the sclera of the eyes. Uh, so ellipsal once again, just gonna make the shape, keep it, keep the color white like so. And with this right click, let's go into our layer effects and a shadow. This time normal, change the color to this blue and the angle as well to make sure Let's add a stroke and as you can see this kind of fits perfectly now all of these together make the eye so group it up call this the eye let's copy it Control T right click and hit flip horizontal bring this over here and now you see we have a nice pair of eyes like so it looks really clean all right now lastly we just have to make the mouth right here. The mouth part should be quite simple. We will make a new layer. Let's take our pencil once more. Uh, this shape is a bit more tricky. I think uh, I think it will start right here. Curve this. Follow along the right side. Um, it's all right if you don't get this your first try. Just keep trying, keep practicing. <laughs> Even this is not perfect. You see uh, this rough corner. I suppose I could fix that. Um, with just this. Just kind of round this off, I guess. Like so. Could uh, merge this back. Alright. Um, I'm going to set this lighter shade of red hit ok new layer right click and hit create mask pencil and we're gonna go for the shading just go around very simple drag this down double click and change the color now the teeth and the tongue is the same uh, process same steps I'm just gonna curve this actually uh, instead of this sharp change of direction so I'm gonna have this like so I'm going to apply the stroke effect also onto the exterior of the mouth and lastly the tongue very easy there we go. Let's go right here on the bottom. Also apply the stroke effect. And here, let's put this together. Mouth as a group. Boom. And now, as you guys can see, we have a complete cartoony face. Now, if you guys are new to creating vectors, um, this might be a bit difficult for you guys, but I'm pretty sure if you follow along step by step and you take your time, you practice a little bit, I am certain that anyone can create a, a result that looks like this. Uh, make sure to leave a like. Also check out our store. Link is down below. Join our Discord and interact with the community. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Take care guys.